Now let's implement verse request. I made a skeleton in advance before implementation. I have already put all the strings. The necessary drawables are also included in, ad in advance. If we go to the base application, the app ID has already been set. I also finished the implementation for init code. By starting the main activity, the default channel list activity is displayed. When you run the application, the basic UI kit works. When typing in the basic sample app, the typing indicator should float in the verse application. Read receive and deliver receive should be drawn here. Let's start implementing it. First, let's create a package to separate our custom codes. First, we will create a custom channel list adapter. Inherit the channel list adapter. Override on create beholder method and override on bind the beholder method. Now, we need to create a view item to use here. You need to create a custom view holder. Make it private static class. Uh, in base beholder, it is inherited by designating the group channel type. Create a constructor. Basically, you need to implement the bind method. The bind method takes the data type specified by base view holder as the parameter and binds it to the view. We have already created a layout for channel item. Let's reference views easily using view binding. Let's declare the binding. Then you can bind the binding and the channel data in bind method. Before that, you should return the view holder you just created on create view holder method. The bind method is called where super is called in on bind view holder declared in the adapter. The part that the calls bind method does not need to be implemented separately. I will copy and paste the code needed for bind method. Uh, set the pussy icon, set the title, and we can set the unread count. Also, we can get the channel cover via glide library. I also set the member count and updated add will also set it up. The typing indicator shows uh, through its typing method of channel and get typing user's method uh, from channel. Uh, we will show different strings for uh, each typing user size. In the case of read receive and the deliver received, we will use the channel's on read member count and on delivered member count. We will show the appropriate icons for each through the member count. The implementation of custom channel list adapter is completed. Now let's apply this up adapter to our ch channel list fragment. Create a custom channel list fragment. Inherit the channel list fragment. Override on bind list component method because we need to apply adapter to the channel list component. Proceed with the existing task through super core and change the adapter through set adapter method of channel list component. Create a custom fragment factory to apply a custom channel list fragment to the entire UI kit. In UI kit, fragments are supplied to activities through UI kit fragment factory class. Custom fragment factory inherits from UI kit fragment factory and override the method for the fragment you want to change. In this case, we should override new channel list fragment method and return custom channel list fragment. 
the Argus parameter is the bundle passed from the activity. You can pass this bundle to a fragment. Custom fragment factory created in this way is set in on create of base application. You can apply we can apply a custom fragment factory through the set UI kit fragment factory method of the Sandbird UI kit class. Let's learn first example application again. Now uh, you can see deliver received and read received. However, the typing indicator is not displayed. This is because we are not receiving the typing update event. Okay, let's implement the typing indicator. To implement typing indicator, uh, we should implement. Uh, we should communicate with the, our chat SDK, SDK. So we should inherit channel list view model and implement receiving the typing event here. First, override the constructor. In the constructor. We should add the channel handler to receive typing indicator. In the channel handler, on typing status updated method is provided, so we can use this method to receive the typing update event. We will use live data so that we can observe changes in typing event in fragments. Declare mutable live data. Set the declare the typing change live data in the on typing status updated method of the channel handler. To remove the channel handler, override on cleared and implement removal channel handler from sandbird class. And then we create the getter getter regarding with typing change it to use live data in the fragment. To use the custom channel view model you just created in your fragment, override on create view model method. Here you can create and return a custom channel list to view model. View models are usually created through view model factory, therefore and the create method of viewmodel factory implement the code to create the custom channel list view model. Here we create a custom view model, custom view model through the view model factory. Then the view model passed as an argument to the on bind channel list component method becomes the custom channel list view model. Declare a custom channel list view model. Cast the view model passed as a parameter and use it. Observe the typing update through the get typing change the method created in the custom view model. Updated channel are coming at the time update the channel with the custom channel list adapter. Let's run the app. Let's try new typing in the sample app. Then you can see the phrase do is typing pops up in the verse application. Clear your typing and you will see the last message again. Implementation of the request of verse is complete. Now oh, I will show you how to implement custom component. Create a custom channel list component class and it inherits the channel list component. Create a, fun create a method called notify typing updated to deliver to notify typing update data to the component. The list component provides a get adapter method then you can access the adapter used in this list component through get adapter method. The updated channel information coming as a parameter is notified to the adapter so that the view can be updated. 
To apply the custom list component to the fragment, go to the fragment and override the onCreateModule method. Here, the module used by default is imported through the super call. Set the custom list to fragment in the default module. Uh, then, on bind the channel list component, we'll use custom channel list component. Override the on bind channel list component method and cast the component here, passing the updated channel to the adapter in previous step, but now passing the channel to the custom channel list component. It is more complex than uh, previous step. However, uh, you can apply this concept to the component. Now you can do more complex over customization. Thank you.